Good morning, friends. Uh, Pastor Bob Rudabush here, uh, sharing our daily devotional uh, from First United Methodist Church. And I'm here uh, on our deck. Uh, it's a little chilly this morning, uh, but uh, we were working with, in our yard some yesterday, and that was kind of fun. Uh, we had a problem with voles. Anybody know about those? We got issues. So anyway, we're, we're working our way through that. So Anyway, a few announcements I want to kind of highlight. Uh, this is usually our Friday email Sunday. And uh, so Sunday, March 29th, this next Sunday, we will, again, no in-person worship, but we will have our online 830, 945, and 11 worship services. Uh, our theme will be Reckless Love, continuing our Reckless Love study. And it'll be the chapter on uh, valuing the vulnerable. And we're looking at the story of Jesus uh, healing uh, a man who has uh, experienced very difficult mental health issues, and that's found in Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. That's Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. So if you'd like to read uh, ahead uh, for Sunday, that'd be a great thing to do. Uh, we're also uh, not going to have in-person worship on uh, Sunday, Palm Sunday. Uh, we want you to make your own palm. And so if you go to our website, there'll be a, you can click on a box that'll show you how to make your own palm branch. And so that could be an act activity your family could do uh, sometime this week. Uh, and, uh, and it'll be a great way to do a family project together in preparation for worship on Palm Sunday. Uh, we also won't be having communion, obviously, on the first Sunday of the month. However, we're looking at a way to s somehow uh, uh, have a way that we can do communion together, not only on Monday, Thursday, uh, but also uh, on Sunday, April 19th. And uh, we've got some ideas with that, so be looking uh, for that as well. If you need to contact the church uh, office over the weekend, we have an emergency number, phone call, and you can call num and the number is 400-9337. The number is 605-400-9337. So if you have any needs, uh, feel free to, uh, to watch that. Um, this week, as I was uh, doing my devotional uh, life, um, it's the fifth Sunday in Lent, and I've been using a guide to prayer for all who walk with God by Reuben Job. And uh, this week, uh, it's been, uh, the theme word has been letting go. Uh, you know, the first thing we talked about was vulnerability. Uh, the second time I visited with you is about how the Holy Spirit sustains us with the peace that passes all understanding. Uh, last week we talked about great is thy faithfulness and how God is faithful to us uh, in the midst of this journey. And we used a, a passage from Lamentations chapter 3 uh, verses 19 to 24. So that's another scripture you can kind of put in your bank of scriptures to read uh, throughout a day or in the evening before you go to bed or, or early in the morning. But anyway, we begin with this affirmation, Lord, you are my God, I will exalt you. I will praise your name for you have done wonderful things, planned long ago, faithful and sure. So let us pray. Lord, sometimes life seems unbearable. Our hearts and minds are weighed heavy upon and we struggle to let go of all the burdens us for the fear of losing the illusion of control we have over our lives. We call upon your name today, O God, that you may free us from worry and all that troubles our minds and bodies and spirits. We put our trust in you, O God, this day and always. The scripture for the day uh, is Philippians chapter 4, verses uh, 10, um, 10 through 13, and this is a great uh, passage uh, the Apostle Paul is writing from prison uh, in his own uh, struggles, and he is writing a, a passage uh, to, uh, to the church at Philippi who has sent him support and have sent him persons to encourage him uh, while he was in prison. And so he's kind of writing back to them and thanking them for their support, and he writes uh, in uh, chapter 4, verses 10 through 13, these uh, very familiar words. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me but had no opportunity to show it. 
Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. And this is the key verse, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So Paul's talking about how he has known plenty and he's known how to live with not very much. And it kind of feels like we're in that uh, kind of timeline now as we hear about all the things on the news and a person's being laid off and struggles financially that people are having. But yet also we are um, also mindful of... Uh, just uh, also the positive experiences of how people are helping one another and extending themselves. And, uh, and so it, it's, it, they're both and on that experience. But anyway, one of the readings today uh, talks about this uh, kind of uh, some of the myths of our culture that we are in control somehow. Uh, and this is read, a writing by Judith E. Smith uh, from Weavings, uh, which is a spiritual journal, The One Thing Necessary. She writes, one of the myths of our culture is that control of ourselves and others is what gives us freedom. If we are in control, then obviously we can make decisions that leaves us free. But this is a myth. The paradox is that when we give up control to God, we actually live in deeper freedom. The freedom of God may call us to turn all of our most precious definitions of faithfulness on their heads. It may be the most difficult call for us to respond to is not a call that demands of us great sacrifices, but a call that offers to us great gifts. We give up control to God. We actually live in a deeper freedom. The song that uh, I wanted to share with us today is uh, from The Faith We Sing. Uh, it's a song that I have really come to appreciate uh, since they released uh, this musical hymnal uh, as an addition to our hymnal. Uh, it's found uh, number 2128, Come and Find the Quiet Center. I probably, I'll probably send out the, the uh, song later on, uh, or the words at least, but it goes like this. Come and find a quiet center in the crowded life we lead. Find the room for hope to enter. Find the frame where we are freed. Clear the chaos and the clutter. Clear our eyes that we can see all the things that really matter. Be at peace and simply be. Silence is a friend who claims us, cools the heat and slows the pace. God it is who speaks and names us, knows our being, touches base. Making space within our thinking, lifting shades to show the sun. Raising courage when we're shrinking, finding scope for faith begun. In the spirit, let us travel, open to each other's pain. Let our loves and fears unravel, celebrate the space we gain. There's a place for deepest dreaming. There's a time for heart to care. In the Spirit's lively scheming, there is always room to spare. May we find that quiet center in our lives. May we find that contentment that the Apostle Paul talked about in his life. He knew what had plenty, uh, and he knew not to have enough. But he reminds us that in all things, 
We can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Let us pray. Gracious God, uh, in this journey and as we continue to uh, uh, try to make sense of our journey, we just pray for our health providers. Uh, they need your help. We pray for those who are, have contracted the virus, that your healing power be present to them. We pray that you would uh, continually touch our neighbors and friends. Help us uh, to, to kind of understand this sense of that we find our strength in you. We thank you uh, again for this, this day of life and we pray that you would uh, continue to guide us and discern and help us discern within ourselves the places where we can truly deepen our walk with you and one another. And even though we are separated uh, by space, help us join our hearts together in praise and thanksgiving. Give us your strength, O oh Lord, for we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you. Uh, it feels like spring is kind of coming on, and uh, we're going to get some rain today, but it looks like uh, kind of towards early part of next week. Uh, it's going to be really nice, and so uh, we celebrate uh, God's new, uh, new life at coming and growing all around us. So may we find that as well. For we we just uh, thank you for joining us today and know you're in our prayers. Again, uh, be mindful of uh, your giving. You can mail your tithe or your offering to the church. And uh, we're just grateful for everyone's support. If you need anything, call 400-9337. Take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.